Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the start 11 show. Everton versus Brighton. Goodison Park. Three o'clock kickoff. Big game. Big game. If Everton can get through this game with a positive result, if they could get the win, I think that would put us into that next group of teams. Um, and hopefully then we wouldn't be looking over our shoulder as much. Or certainly the media wouldn't be painting us like we are looking into that sh over our shoulder. And um, the good form can continue. The good run can continue going into the Palace game next week uh, ahead of that international break, which obviously leads into a very, very busy period in the season. December is always chocking, and it is obviously for us as well because we're in the Carabao Cup as well. So let's get into it. In goal, Jordan Pickford. I, I always say this. He's just, he's just our number one, isn't he? And there's no, you know, England's number one and there's no messing about. You're not going to change him. He's in... He's in He's very, very consistent, doing the job. So, Jordan Pickford in goal. At right back, I'm going to do it again. I'm going for Nathan Patterson. He is my preferred right back. Um, I know Ashley Young came in and he got a goal, but obviously he got a goal from right midfield. But Nathan Patterson, I just think, listen, the manager the manager will, will, will probably argue with me all day over, over this one. But I... I I think you've got to let the player settle down. Maybe the manager's like, listen, we let Ashley Young play a dozen games. We start bringing Patterson in during December when, when Ashley Young can't play every three games. We get that crossover. We get confidence. And on the, on the other side, Nathan Patterson emerges as the first team. I don't know if that'll happen because Seamus Coleman's coming back, but... I want to see Nathan Patterson play. I like the fact that he goes forward. I like the fact that he gets past the right midfielder. I think that's massively important. Overlapping. I don't think Ashley Young does that too too much. So I'm going with Nathan Patterson. On the other side, Michalenko um, has been in really, really good form in the last month or so. Well, really, since he came back into the team, looks strong, looks competitive. Is he doing everything I want him to do, getting forward? No, but he's doing what he's what he's supposed to do, which is be a good defender, stopping the opposition from um, creating chances. He looks stronger as well. He looks a stronger player. Physically looks bigger. So he continues at left-back. Two centre-backs, obviously Tarkowski and Branthwaite. Long may that continue. Tarkowski getting a goal the other night. Uh, Jared Brantwaite getting better and better by each game. Hopefully, you know, it's nice to see Taki get a goal. Might be nice to see him get another goal, if I'm honest. Um, we need more of that. But Taki has looked so much in Everton captain recently. Uh, really sort of, you can you can tell he's the man now at Everton. And obviously, uh, Brantwaite is starting to get the plaudits from outside of the club. I'm not sure I like that, but... He's starting to get the plow that's from outside the club. So, very settled, good for the spine of the team. And hopefully, as I said, that, that just keeps going and going. Into midfield, Amadou Onana, again, another one scored in midweek. Um, probably his best spell as an Everton player in the last month or so since he went back into that number six role and made it his own. He looks really happy playing in a position which is his, and he's getting better and better and growing each game. Nice, as I said, to see him get a goal. That's the one thing that's maybe been missing from his performances, but he got his goal, and maybe we'll see more of that as we go along as well. So uh, in good form alongside him, James Garner. And again, they've, they've as a two together, really look like they complement each other. James Garner will work all day for you. He'll, he's a graft there. He puts the tackles in. But also decent on the ball as well as we've seen. Um, nice likes to spread the, the the passing from one side to another. The, those diagonal balls can be uh, devastating for us. Obviously, if you've got someone in the box, and we saw that we saw that the, on um, Wednesday night as well. So he continues uh, in midfield and ahead of them it's Abdelai Decore. Obviously, just signed a new contract for the Toffees. A really important player for the manager. Someone that. I don't think we've got a re ready replacement for. Um, Dan Juma was tied there on Wednesday. Didn't quite work, but you can see the manager's thinking maybe if he needs a replacement, 
not only you know for full games, but if you need you know if you need to bring someone off the bench, can Dan Juma be a player who steps into that gap? Well, he didn't really show it the other night, but you know the core for me. He all he has to add, I think, maybe more home goals. That's it, really. Listen, that role between playing off the striker but also playing adding another midfielder is so key to the way Dice plays. So he continues in there, and uh, it's great that he signed a new contract. On the right, Jack Harrison. I, I, I thought his final ball on Wednesday let him down at times, um, but that's why I want that's why I want um, Patterson at right back to overlap him to give him that space to take one of those players off him. Getting fit to the manager mentioned it the other day. Doesn't think he's fully fit yet. Well, he's he. You can see how hard he works for the team, and just a bit more final product from him. Um, obviously scored a great goal in his last game, Premier League game at Goodison as well. So a repeat of that would be magnificent. On the other side, Dwight McNeil got an assist the other night. Great ball in for James Tarkowski again. Like to see him get on the score. He not scored yet. Uh, and obviously had a great run at the end of the season. Was brilliant against Bright, Brighton away. So we'd like to see a, a performance like that from him. A couple of goals wouldn't wouldn't go missed too from him as well. Manager loves him to bits, doesn't he? He's, he's, he's had a really good level of consistency since um, Sean Dyche came into the side. So he's can continue. And again, that's where the, the form, maybe not the form, but turning... Defeats maybe into into wins has come from. Players getting 7 out of 10, more players getting 7 out of 10 every single game has been key. And he's been uh, he's been a big part of coming back into the side as well. Obviously missed basically the first month of the season with an injury. So him coming back has been a key to that. And up front, Dominic Carvalhoon. Listen, he's he's been scoring goals. He's been ruffling feathers with the defenders. He was great the other night, even though he didn't score. He was great against Bournemouth, even though he didn't score. Nice to see him. Would be nice to see him get a a, a goal at Goodison again. Um, but he is our number one striker. I think there was a little bit of the base at first when Beto came in, but I think you can see the differences. Dom's just far more polished than Beto is. Um, listen, we want to see more from Beto. We want to see him coming off the bench and helping, helping win games or helping win his control games when we're leading. But Dom looks re- he looks really back to his best, he looks really confident, he's got that little burst of pace now without having to worry about maybe his hamstrings or whatever, listen it's still early and I'm touching wood uh, here when I'm saying this but it's great to have Dom back and re- he really looks like he's enjoying his football, he really looks like he's confident in himself and he really looks like, as I said, he looks like he's enjoying his football so long may that continue. So that's my start 11, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Listen, I haven't done anything radical, have I? I've kept basically the same team so I've done nothing radical there. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What would you be your starting eleven for the game against Brighton? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you want more great videos, daily live videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description. QR codes come up on the screen now. See you later.